Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's going to be super easy with my power. Yeah, exactly. Destroy it. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. that Right, Super Wolf? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it! <gasps> we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh man! Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean! That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. I'm looking to see where the border people come from. I can't wait to go shopping. Because I can't see anybody. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. It'll be so Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Huh? Oh. Oh. No! No way! Not now! Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, come uh. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Who are you? You're not border agents. Uh, we're citizens. We serve our country. 
for shooting people! Better them than us. Yeah. Look, you just blew up that wall, so don't start acting all friendly. So tell me the plan. You're not cops! You can't arrest us! No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. Still bleeding. Don't touch him! Get off! Yeah, don't move! Ugh. What? What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal, he knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, man. Do what the officer says. Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegal! Fuck's sake! What I say! Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Don't look at me. No lesbian. See. Si. Yo soy Diego. Mi, mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es... Uh, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Que no hacen daño a los niños. Oh, look at them jerks. Speak with these again. Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí. No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad queremos llegar a México. A México. No mames, pero ¿por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez 
Intentamos cruzar la frontera. Son muy valientes. Y además estás embarazada. Mi Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo. Y la más inteligente también. En nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país. Que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida... Una vida mejor a nuestro hijo. O hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba a su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Ya va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego, no, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants built this country. Where did the founding fathers come from, huh? No, 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 that was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant and he worked his ass off, raised a family and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See, you love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. What? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tiene razón, amor. No vale nada. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail, too. Loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent. So fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay, let's move it.
All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's all right. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Haven't seen... How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Of course not. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? I'll keep it on the camera. Oh, bless him. He got us a coffee as well. Cheers, officer. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? No. Yeah. Shit. Coffee's going to make me feel so much better. At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then... You join a religious commune in Nevada, and its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. 
Uh, we go. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? You're about to find out. Random accident with supervillains. What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? Time for you to meet a real supervillain. I don't think you should. Keep your ass in that seat. They warned ya. You okay? Let's go. How do you feel? I'm wipe them out, everyone. A little headache. Let's wipe everybody out. Dude, Take his keys. Who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Yeah. What do you mean he took care of the others? He's already killed him. Holy hey. shit. Hey! Come on, bullshit! You gotta go! Get us out of here! He's got enough. He's the real key. Sean, who are these people? Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Well, no. Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who try to shoot you. Really? Bet they deserve a lesson. <laughs> sure. Do it. Type revenge. Time for payback. What do you want now? Your turn, Daniel. Fuck off. Do it. Don't mess with this kid. I mean it. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, don't mess with us. That's what they get. Isn't you? Assholes. Free him. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel. That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Esperenme aquí until I check this out. Of course. Anyone gets in our way, Daniel will kill him. That's what he gets, right? Well, we don't want. Kill him all. Shit! Don't, move. don't shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean! Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean! What do I do? Quick! Kill. Crush them. Now. Got it. Okay, stop! I said! Oh my god. Jeebus. Saved our asses. Holy Sean, crap. I think our things are in there. Step back. Nice. Jesus. Jesus. I'll be right back. This is mental. Okay, but be quick. After this. You're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Walkie talkies, bag, books. Come on, Sean. Let's go. go. Okay, I'm going. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. It freaks me out when he uses it. Take it out, Daniel. Okay, go, go. Welcome to America. Let's roll, Daniel. Now I gotta decide which one I'm gonna do first. A lone wolf or Blood Brothers one. Nobody is 
is chasing us. Not yet. Emergency! This is all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the L. Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July, our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was sowing the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Jeez. Sean, we can't let them get us. Sean! Sean, here! It's over! Don't make this work! Get out of the car! Hello! Wave your hand above your head! You know that day in Seattle, the day Dad was shot, I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you are the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. Brothers and Okay, so now we have to get to one of our endings, so I'm gonna do this one first. Hi. I think their story ends right here. Daniel, 
you. Come on. So we went all this way? All that shit? For nothing? You told me we were going to Mexico. You said... We're done. The end. It's not who we are. Now it's my turn to take care of the Sean. Everything will be all right. I promise. What? Daniel! Go! Stop! <laughs> That was brutal. Massacre on the US border. Like a pickpocket in Porto Lobos, tourism affected. Spectacular house at the central bank, more than one million stolen. Call me Yenes. Local gang hide raided by another gang, two casualties. Six years after the events at the border. It's all on his own, and now he's drawing. Poor Daniel. Has he got a picture of his brother? As a ta has he got a tattoo of his brother on his chest? 
Or is that his dad? I'm not sure. Don't like this ending. Do not like it. They do not deserve this ending at all. So a gang have come for him. Oh, they have no idea how strong this guy is. They're screwed. God. That is a lone wolf ending. We'll let the credits roll and then we'll do the next ending which is Blood Brothers.
special message to the fans. Oh, bless. You decided to surrender to the police and Daniel refused. 8% have done this one. Overall, you took Daniel to put himself and his brother first. You did the treasure hunt and found the hidden souvenir. That's 90% did that. You overall got close to Karen, 81%. You wrote a conciliating note to Karen, 12%. You said farewell to Arthur and Stanley. You said farewell to Joan. You hugged Karen before leaving. You intervened to calm Diego and the cells. You freed the Mexican couple. You didn't ask Daniel, Daniel to free the vigilantes. No, I told him to kill them. You took revenge on him. You asked Daniel to kill the officers to escape the police station. Daniel wasn't told off about the scorpion. Daniel managed to set up Joan's sculpture like he wanted. Daniel wasn't concerned about Officer Campbell. Daniel wasn't asked to free the vigilantes. Daniel accepted to take revenge on the vigilantes. Daniel killed the officers when leaving the police station. Daniel was okay to kill the police officers. And that is our Lone Wolf playthrough. We will go and do the Blood Brothers playthrough now. 